Hey guys, a very good morning and welcome back to another daily market outlook. A little bit later on today, market is just not really coming up to speed as of yet. As we can see, we're still stuck pretty much inside of this area of consolidation here on your USD. What I'm looking for overall is a potential move in towards the downside, uh, back down in towards this area of demand. However, preferably I would like to see one more push up, breaking this high and then kind of like that real dump in towards the downside to commence so that definitely holds my preference i would not be surprised if we do see a higher move on your usd very very soon uh looking to trade it in towards this let's say refined area of supply um over here supply zone number one or this overall supply zone number two now that is preferable uh, also just because we'll get a better entry uh, as this then will become your fractal high which then breaks and hopefully somewhere over here is your fractal low and then we can take a nice trade from over here um, with the stop loss over here and then an easy one to free risk to reward back down in towards this demand zone. If we do start selling off in towards the downside, which is perfectly possible, um, we'll just have to wait and see what happens once we reach pretty much this overall um, sell for the buy. Uh, then this area of demand, the demand zone number one, will kind of be our area of interest. And I'll just let it fall in my personal opinion. Going in towards a 15 minute time frame, what we can see over here is again not that much um, we did in fact kind of like break up in towards the highs over here uh, still respecting these or this low where a lot of liquidity is situated underneath so let's wait and see guys what happens today if we do sell off uh, it could also just be a nice swift reaction to that liquidity low and then for example a reversal in towards the highs if we do just continue moving up higher then obviously just wait for this high to get taken out and for that four hour fractal entry which i just discussed now moving onwards in towards the dollar index the dollar index itself is now inside of that area of supply as you can see bearish initial reaction so there is potential now for the dollar index to move down lower um, meaning your usd could move up higher so what i'm waiting for today um, is well at the moment at least we're breaking now this area of structure so this was the structure which broke the structural high maybe we could start pushing down lower uh, the most interesting or necessary piece of market structure that we need to break is this overall low if that low breaks then definitely uh, we're going to be moving down lower so keep that in mind um that is also our fractal low by the way so that 15 minute low is also the fractal low over here so if that low goes then a lot more probability that we're going to be moving downwards in towards that area of demand over here so that is uh the dollar index for you moving onwards in towards AUDUSD. So ADUSD itself has pushed down lower, um, pretty much into this area of demand. As we can see, we just, 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 just missed out on uh, tapping into there. Uh, otherwise, there would have been a nice potential long to look for. So definitely looking to see if we do indeed tap in towards that demand zone today. Overall, we're now in supply. So this is the overall buy for the sell, uh, the overall order flow. So let's see, maybe one more short in towards the downside. And then once we hit this area of demand, we could start looking for a trend reversal and look for those potential longs to trade at least back up in towards that area of supply. So that is what I have my eyes open for on AUD USD. Uh, going onwards in towards pound dollar. Uh, looking at pound dollar at the moment. Um, yeah. Overall, um, what are we seeing? Uh, we're seeing price just tank down lower. Um, yeah, I mean, if we look at fractal structure on the four hour at the moment, not very interesting. This is the fractal low, this is the fractal high. Uh, we were inside of this demand zone uh, over here, but as you guys know, this demand zone or this sell for the buy didn't achieve anything. It didn't like push price above this high. That's why we're not really reacting to it over here. So there is still potential for it to push down lower. Keep an eye out for this kind of like hammer candle where there should be some demand inside and we should see a push up higher from it. Um, could kind of like correspond with that trade on uh, AUD USD, which I just showcased you guys. So keep that in mind for the rest. Not a big fan of GU overall. It is looking good though uh, to start pushing down lower very, very soon in my personal opinion. So if we do break this low as we are now doing and we see nice strong candle close, we could just keep on following the overall order flow downwards in towards the lower boundaries of this hammer candle over here. Uh, so that's pound dollar. Uh, looking at the daily real quick, daily looks bearish as well, guys, man. Uh, as we can see a perfect pullback in towards this overall kind of like vibe for the sell. 
uh, even if you refine it to like the actual Bible for the cell over here, you can see a nice, perfect touch. It's definitely looking for some further downside from pound dollar over the upcoming week. Going in towards Kiwi dollar, so ends of the USD, uh, pretty similar, uh, as we can see, daily supply over here, holding and should push price down lower. So definitely looking for a short here on ends of the USD. Um, but as we can see until today, like still just consolidating. So keep your eyes open for that pair. Um, at the moment, definitely gonna be looking for a potential short, or if we move up one more time, it could also result in a nice or an even better short position. Mm. At the moment, uh, let's see. Um, I mean, we can see that the overall kind of like order flow is looking a little bit bearish what we have going on over here but again still like if it was really that bearish you would have wanted to see um, something more uh, like structural and at the moment this was a structural low this was a structural high so this is now kind of like the bullish range that you're inside and this is just kind of like becoming squeezing reaction looking to break up higher very very soon so do keep that in mind uh, when looking for shorts so i might look for a long first uh, to trade it just a little bit higher maybe target this high one more time and then once we reach that then we look for that real high probability short um, so keep that in mind on kiwi dollar uh, that that could be a nice possibility and kind of trade it up higher in towards that refined uh, area of supply up above over here and then get a nicer shorting opportunity. So that is Kiwi dollar uh, going onwards in towards our last pair, which is gold. So gold over here uh, moved up higher, obviously went for that high, which we mentioned yesterday over here, uh, liquidated that high and now looking for that potential short uh, back down. So keep your eyes open on the 15. As we can see, the 15 is a little bit messy, um, but for now, waiting for this low over here to break. Um, as you can see, this sell for the buy uh, yesterday, we reacted to it twice. Now, the longer that we stay inside of there, uh, the weaker it gets. So I am looking to see if it can break and we can potentially yeah, move down lower, for example, in towards this area of sell for the buy, uh, which is at around 2300, I would say. So let's see if we can get a short in towards 2300 today on gold. That would be nice. So yeah, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Wish you all a fantastic day and speak soon.